Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the delicious cooking series. Now it's still our Ramadan special edition. And for today's recipe, now this recipe is actually one recipe that is very dear to my heart. I learned how to make it from a channel here on YouTube. And um, I, when I cre we created it, of course I added a twist to it um, to make it mine. And I'm so excited to share this with you guys. If you love sweet potatoes, then you definitely love this one because it's actually a potato cake recipe that's perfect for either breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Before we go into the cooking action, remember that you can now pre-order a copy of my latest cookbook, Winnie's Sizzling Selection. It's the only cookbook that you need to level up on your healthy eating journey this year. It has over 100 recipes and it's broken down into sections. It has a section on plant-based recipes, another section on low-carb recipes, another one on detox recipes, and of course, what's healthy eating without some good old comfort food. So I dedicated a whole section to comfort food recipes and recipes here are actually recipes that are very easy to put together and the ingredients that you require are ingredients you literally would find in your local market or your superstores near you. They are in Nigerian and African inspired recipes and I know that you definitely would love to make them and you definitely would love to have a copy of this book in your kitchen. So go ahead right now and pre-order a copy. Of course, support a girl. A lot of work went into creating this cookbook. It would be nice to have and see you guys use it and just um, enjoy healthier meals this year. I'm gonna put a link in the description box down below on how you can pre-order a copy of Winnie's Sizzling Selections. Let's get cooking together. Anyways, let's get right into the cooking action, shall we? <laughs> In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very simple but extremely delicious and satisfying recipe that everyone will certainly love. It's my famous sweet potato cakes recipe and trust me guys, this is one that you definitely would want to add to your repertoire of recipes. Now for this recipe, you'll be needing some sweet potatoes, all-purpose flour, some cooked chicken, complex cereal, vegetable oil, garlic paste, butter, chili peppers, diced onions, some spring onions, seasonings, and some salt to taste. As usual, the full ingredient list will be on our website and the link would be in the description box down below, so be sure to check it out there, okay? Now, start by peeling the sweet potatoes, then cut them into bite-sized chunks. You can use Irish potatoes for this recipe as well. It works wonders, but I find that sweet potatoes actually taste better. At least that's my own preference. But if you prefer Irish potatoes, please go ahead and use them as well. They would work just fine. After cutting the potatoes in chunk, just set them aside and afterwards proceed to the stovetop. Drizzle some oil into a pan and allow to heat up slightly. Then add the diced onions and stir fry for a few seconds or until it is nice and fragrant. Afterwards, add the garlic paste and the chopped chili peppers and continue to stir fry for a few more seconds. Next, add the spices. I'm using some curry powder, paprika powder, some seasoning powder and cumin powder as well. I find that these spices just makes for the perfect taste, but you can use any of your favorite seasonings and spices of choice. It's totally up to you, okay? Now stir fry again for a few more seconds to wake up the spices. Then add the sweet potato chunks into the pot and then season with some salt and add some water to help cook the potatoes till they are nice and soft. Mix everything again to combine, then cover the pot and cook till the potatoes are tender. Meanwhile, place the cooked chicken on a board and run your knife through it till they are all finely minced. Now for the chicken, I just place some raw chicken breast into a pot and season with just salt and pepper. And then I boiled it for about 5-7 to seven minutes or until it had lost all of its pinkness and was perfectly cooked. And this is exactly what I'm just chopping up into tiny bits. You can use any chicken parts of your choice, it's totally up to you. You can even use fish for this recipe, I find that it works wonders as well. Now when the potatoes are tender, transfer them to a bowl and mash them with a masher until they're completely mashed. Oh, yeah. 
Next, you add the minced chicken, the spring onions and the butter and mix everything again together to combine. I had to stop and add some of the stock from cooking the potatoes because I found that the potatoes were looking kind of dry and then the stock combined with the butter would just help moisten it up which is exactly the texture that I'm going for. Mix everything again to combine until you've achieved this texture. It's moist, it's, at this point, you just, the aroma just, you just fill up your whole nose and you would absolutely love it. <laughs> but we're not done yet. Now, after mixing everything together, all the palm of your hands and then scoop out some of the mashed potatoes and form into a ball shape. then press it gently just to flatten it out to make it look something like a patty like a, the, the, kind of the patty that you would use when you're making a, a chicken burger or something yeah then afterwards just repeat the process until you have exhausted all of the mashed potatoes In the mixing bowl, add the all-purpose flour and in the second mixing bowl, add the cornflakes. Season the flour with some salt and then add some water to form a paste. The paste should be in a semi-liquid consistency. You want it slightly runny, okay? And then of course, use your hands to crumble the cornflakes or you can just put the cornflakes in a Ziploc bag and use a rolling pin to crumble it. But I think your hands will crumble it a lot faster, so just do that, okay? Now afterwards, place the potato cake in the flour mixture and coat on all sides until it is thoroughly coated. Then transfer to the crumbled cornflakes and then ensure that it is fully coated as well with the cornflakes. Set it off to the side and continue with the rest. After everything has been coated with the flour on complex, leave it to rest for five minutes. Now, I know it already looks so good, guys, but we are not done yet, okay? Okay, guys, back to the cooking process. We're going to move over to the stove top and pour some oil into a pan. Allow the oil to heat up slightly, but not overly hot, okay? Then gently place the potato cakes into the pan. Now place as much of the potato cakes as the pan can take without overcrowding it. Leave it to fry on one side for about one to two minutes or until it is slightly brown and smells toasty. Then flip it to the other side and brown as well. But please keep a close eye on it so that it doesn't burn, okay? Now afterwards, take it out of the pan and place on a plate that's lined with paper towel. Now you guys, this is the most rewarding comfort food ever and you will totally love it, I promise. It is nice and crispy on the outside and super duper moist and flavorful on the inside. You can serve this up on its own or with some ketchup or some coleslaw or any salad of your choice. I like it either ways, but whatever you do, just ensure that you enjoy it, okay? <laughs> if you guys found this video helpful, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and then of course share with your family and friends so that they too can learn how to make something new as well. 
You see, when I say that this recipe was dear to my heart, you understand what I mean right now, right? Like the recipe actually just not only tastes amazing, it looks amazing, it's very eye appealing and it's also very easy to recreate. I hope you'll be adding it to your repertoire of easy recipes to enjoy. And if you will be making it, please kindly send me your pictures on IG. I always love to see them. They make me so freaking happy. My job here is done guys. If you liked watching this video, do not forget to give us a thumbs up and then join this family so that we can grow this community together. We actually have a goal to reach a million subscribers this year and with your help we can definitely make that happen. So go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell just right beside it so you can get instantly notified whenever we upload a new video. Again, remember to pre-order a copy of Winnie's Fizzling Selections. It's my newest cookbook and the only cookbook that you need to level up on your healthy eating journey this year. Alright guys, I'll see you next time. Take care.